Okay, uh, you may as well all know there's been an emergency governor's meeting called for this afternoon. Rhea Cheatham, the school advisor, has objected to me targeting funds at our new Year 10 kids, the gifted and talented group. Of course, can't be seen to be helping clever kids, can we? Yeah, well, I did bend the rules a little, so... There's a chance I might be suspended. But I need to get one thing clear in my mind. The G&T kids, a success? Yeah. Because if Mrs Cheatham gets her way, then we're going back to mixed ability teaching. Hang on a minute, Jack. Are you serious you could be suspended? I'm reasonably confident that the governors will see things our way. Don't worry about that. Okay, 20 minutes. I want every I dotted, every T crossed. Are you sure about Nigel? Look, the last thing they want to do is look for a new headmaster. And with you in there rooting for me... Yeah, well, that'd be too... You know, show some remorse. I mean, technically, they have got you over a barrel. Listen, I'll bring in the custard. We can all have a slice of me humble pie, yeah? This isn't personal. It's about what's right and what's wrong. Excellence in cities, the national strategy. You won't find anything in there about bribing parents with handouts. It's not a bribe. I selected these pupils, yes, because we needed their impact at Waterloo Road. We have to create a pro-school culture. I think we've done it. We definitely need a massive demo. Of course, that'll really shake them up. No, some of you might not like him. But Mr. Rim has helped just about everybody here. Me, Max, you, you. What can we possibly achieve? Maybe nothing. But if it weren't for Rimmer, I'd be cleaning tables and serving fries. Yeah, so if you hate him that much, you can always go back to that posh school. Do us all a favour. I'll admit, when I met the pupils, the majority of them are genuinely pleased to be here. But what support have they been getting? Every flaming level of support. Extra lessons, new curriculum, targeted mentoring. So not only do the parents get a wad of school cash, you give them extra help and tuition. And sod the other kids. We, you're putting a nice little spin on things, Mrs Cheatham. I'd like you to hear from Bridget Morley. Nigel. What the hell's going on? Uh, Mrs. Cheatham, I'm not entirely sure that... Mrs. Morley's the school bursar here. She knows better than most about how a school budget runs. Mrs. Cheatham's talked a lot about rules and frameworks. And you know what? I've had it up to here with evaluation and policy review. I just want to run a successful school. Waterloo Road. And I'm sorry that I didn't tell the governors what I was doing, Nigel. You but, are responsible you know. for the operational management of the budget. That doesn't give you carte blanche to go and spend it on whatever pet project takes your fancy. Pet projects? What about the single parents whose kids have finally found a school that believes in them? Tell that to Carla Bentham, our Asperger's pupil. Three schools before she ended up here. Very bad girl. Actually not a beneficiary of your bursary. Yeah, well... Look, we are going to achieve the highest GCSE grade in our history, and it's going to get better. There's no paperwork, no receipts, no accountability. You know, last week there were a break-in. 
Police called me at two o'clock in the morning. That's accountability. Jack, your own bursar didn't even realise what you were up to. Section 38.3 of the School Standards and Framework Act 1998. The head teacher is required to inform governors of all transfers of money to and from school accounts. I'm really sorry to say this, but in cases of mismanagement of money, the LEA will consider legal proceedings. Look, I don't agree with what Jack's done, but his heart's in the right place. He's seen off two takeover bids, suffered every head's worst nightmare, and we're still here fighting for this community. If what Jack's done's illegal, it... I'm proud to be his deputy. I'm proud of him. Jack, you've taken us from the abyss to the brink of academic success. We've been lucky to have you. But we must manage the school finances in accordance with the LEA rules. Of course, there'll be an inquiry. Until that time, I must suspend you. <laughs> you can't suspend him. I ask you to leave the premises and not to return until I call you. This is crazy. You can easily fight this. It's okay. I'm sorry, Jack. Don't be. You're only doing your job. I might know that I could depend on your lack of support. You'll have my resignation by the end of the day. Oh. <sighs> Jack, I said suspended. There's a very good chance. I broke the rules, Nigel. I won't put the school through another tribunal. Take some time to consider your decision. Will you be considering yours? Good luck, mate. 